What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, <laughs> I couldn't even bring myself to be on camera right now as I watch these election results flow in, and it's starting to look like the unthinkable has occurred. <laughs> it's starting to look like we just put, well, not we, but it looks like this man may actually become the next president of the United States. <sighs> when I tell you I am beyond baffled, hurt, it's like this man has gone around for over a year and has not said one thing about what his position is on issues that really are important. All he has done was bash Hillary for every little thing he can possibly think of and tell you, tell us, the American people, to just trust him. This man who has made a career of filing bankruptcy is about to become president of these United States. This man who has never held an elected seat a day in his life is about to become the next president of these United States. This man who has publicly each and every time said things to make you cringe is about to become the next president of these United States, erasing every bit of progress that we have seen over the last eight years. What the entire fuck is going on? Now, I know it's a lot of conscious people out here you know, us pro, uh, those pro-blacks and all of that there, I'm going to give you a, a, a little warning ahead of time. Because, see, I think a lot of people don't understand me. You think because I show respect and allow you to say certain things that you can come over here and just really free for all. But on this video, on this night, on this, at this moment, I would advise you to, to walk light if you're going to leave a comment down there. I don't want to hear this shit, okay? See, you sitting thinking, for those people that thought that, well, I'm just not going to go vote at all because Bernie didn't make it to the on the ticket. For those of us who, you know, and I say us, but you know I ain't talking about me because I was at the poll early. But I'm just, you know, trying to be somewhat politically correct and not just point fingers. So... We decide we're not going to vote because either the person that we wanted to see on the ballot was not on the ballot or because you feel like your vote didn't count. I just had this very same conversation with my daughter tonight who told me that my vote don't count. Let me tell you something. You got people who vote. If you don't believe that your vote don't count, look at the uh, results. Turn the TV on, babe. Take a moment. Look at the numbers. If your vote don't count, then what we seeing on our TV screens wouldn't mean a damn thing. Am I right about it? That's people. That is this this country showing each and every one of us minorities exactly what the hell they think of us. And you are a fool if you don't think us conscious people who stayed home and decided not to vote. Don't think that that's not going to have some type of ramification on your future for the next four years. Because it will. This was not a joke. At all. And it makes me damn mad. You know, I knew Louisiana was going to... I already knew that child has been like that. Because trust and believe, I live with it every day. I know how it flows down here. But I, I'm just... I am actually... Amazed. I mean, I feel like I am in the twilight zone. That I live in what I consider to be the greatest country in the world. 
we were so naive. We were so silly. We were so not really taking this man seriously when he jumped in the race that we allowed this man to slip upon us and possibly become the next president of the United States. A damn cele a fucking reality star. A reality celebrity. That is I don't know what to say. But what I will tell you is this. If this does come to fruition as it appears it will. Because I don't see him. I mean I'm surprised at Michigan right now. I thought a whole lot more people would have come out and, and, and made their votes count. But I don't understand how you sit at home. And you take this as a joke. Did y'all really think he was playing? He wasn't playing. Now he probably didn't expect to get as far as he's gotten. But this man was never playing. I watched this man for months. On past the year. Go place to place. And say some of the most derogatory things. Toward minorities that I have ever seen in recent years. And people... Guess what? It was people out there that went along with what he was saying. And they showed up and showed out at the polls tonight. America just told every minority within this, uh, within this group exactly what they think of all of us. They don't give a damn. And guess what? We assisted in that, in that uh, reality. We existed in that. We, we assisted by not going to the polls, by not learning, you know, and listening and paying attention to what was going on this election year. We didn't pay attention. We felt like when Bernie left the election, you know, when he didn't get, you know, the popular vote to become the uh, Democratic Party nominee, we, a lot of us, turned our, turned a deaf ear and just decided at that moment, we are not going to vote. And you know what we did when we did that? We condemned ourselves. Your vote count. If you don't think your vote count, look at what look at the polls right now. Look at the results as they're coming in. Oh, it counts. And if you didn't go out there and vote, then I don't feel like you should have the right to say a word about anything going forward that happens. Because you did not exercise your right that was given to you by people who fought and died for you to be able to go into a poll and cash your ballot. I really am so irritated right now. It's, un it's unbelievable. I am so angry. How in the hell... Did we let this happen? We are becoming a laughing stock for the world. People overseas find Donald Trump to be an absolute fucking idiot. But right here in our own homes, you had many, many people who, because it wasn't what they wanted, opted to not even go to the polls at all. But we, but, but we'll be, I'm sorry. The first person to want to render opinions and complain. But you didn't even bother to do anything to try to help. You didn't do anything to further Hillary's agenda. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not going to sit here and act like Hillary no angel. Because she, she far from that. But I'd rather deal with a Hillary Clinton than a Donald Trump any day. At least Hillary Clinton has some coos. At least Hillary Clinton has held several offices and are aware of how politics go. Donald Trump has no knowledge of what he's about to uh, be elected into if this actually comes to fruition tonight. He has no idea. He is going to destroy every little fiber of things that were in, put in place by the Obama in, uh, administration to help us that uh, that is helping us. But I guess that doesn't matter. All that mattered was you just couldn't see a, 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 a woman in the White House. You couldn't take a woman being in the White House 
So you opted to put on, you, you opted to put a man in there who has absolutely no political experience and that is backed by the KKK. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> For those of you who went out today and did your civic duty, I will, if this man gets into office, know that I am praying for you. And I hope to God that you pray for me and my family as well. But for every person who didn't even bother to get up and vote because they couldn't see a, a woman being in the White House. Or you just had, it wasn't Bernie Sanders so you didn't want to go. Or you're just so conscious you already know your vote don't count. I don't give a damn about what go on with you. Good luck to you, honey. You know, whatever. I was on Facebook tonight, and I was just getting irritated. I, I ran upon a post, in it, and I can't quote it, but I'm going to paraphrase it. The young man said, if Hillary Clinton gets in the White House, I'll never address her as pre Madam President. Then you had an idiot, a nigga bitch. Yeah, I said it, because I'm hot as hell tonight. She gets in the comments and goes, oh, well, I have, I've never addressed Obama as president. Let me tell you something. If there's a God sitting in heaven and this is supposed to happen, Hillary Clinton will be a president. Now, I, I know how it looks now, but see, I hold our faith till the last hour. I am the last soldier that's going to say that this still can happen, even though it looks like it can't happen. Because I believe, I've seen things turn around in the 11th hour when you thought that everything was going to fall apart. In the nick of time, something came through and it was all right. So I still hold I hope, but I'm not crazy and I'm not in I'm not living in some form of delusion that I don't understand what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing tonight on as I watch these various news channels bring in the election results. I just can't believe it, people. <laughs> and even if if this is just me being in my, you know, being afraid right now and feeling somewhat, you know, disappointed about this election. Maybe if she comes along and she does become president, guess what? I'm going to still leave this up because this will serve as a reminder to people how serious getting out and voting is. So when the mid, uh, when the midterm elections come and the next voting season for the next president of the United States, you will hear in my voice what we were going through in the ele damn near the eleventh hour of this campaign, wondering and hoping against hope that we don't allow a idiot like Donald Trump to enter the White House and disrupt everything. Y'all, I've been living on this earth 44 years. You think I don't know the way that things go in this world? I'm well aware that, you know, some of us out here playing checkers, but the majority of, you know, the powers that be, they playing chess. That's why they always checkmating our asses, okay? I know that. But I also know that this was a moment where we could have really get gone out and once again showed up and showed out and showed this world that we want our place. We, we're we not going to just, you know, you're not just going to keep putting your foot on my neck and I'm just going to allow you to do so. And I, and I say, we, I'm talking about minorities. Look like y'all wants to build this wall, baby. Do y'all want to build this wall? Because it looks like he going to build this wall. And I hear people... Sitting up, like I said, back to that Facebook post. I was so heated with that post, I almost unfriended that dude. Because I'm like, let me tell you something. Whether or not you address uh, Obama as president or not, he's going down in history as our president. Two terms, okay? Obama don't give a damn if you give him his props in your little world. The history books will have Barack Hussein Obama in him now. Okay? He's going to always be paid by the government. He's going to always have Secret Service. From this date, from 2008 to the day he dropped dead, him and his family will always be treated like royalty because he had that term, he had those terms in that White House. And I am just sad that they are leaving that White House. I am. I know Obama didn't do everything he promised. What 
politician does. Everything that he could do, he did. It was a whole lot of things he wanted to try to implement. But see, it's not all about him and people don't understand that. Obama has to get things approved, okay? It's not like, oh, I put you in, we put him in this seat and he, he over everybody. No, he has to follow the, the procedure, the chain of command, I like to call it. And did, what did we do? We didn't make it easier for him because we filled up the we filled up Congress with a majority of Republicans who shot down every idea that that man came up with. So you cannot, in good faith, put everything on Obama. But I tell you one thing: he did some good. He did plenty good. If it wasn't all for Obama and and the things that he implemented. I may not be able to buy all of my, med my, my lupus medications. I may not be able to get the procedures and, and the, the time and the work put in on me that they have put in to keep me alive here. And you mean to tell me, now, with or without that, that extra little help, I want, I'm going to make it regardless, okay? I'm going to be all right. Because I didn't ever put my I didn't put my trust in Obama. My trust go in something a little bit more powerful. But I did vote for him, and I thanked God that he was in place when he was. Because there was a period of time had it not been for Obamacare, I don't know if I would still be able to sit here and have this conversation that I'm having right now in this video. What about you people out here who either are experiencing health issues or have family members that are experiencing health issues? Trump is elected into uh, the White House and he dismantled that Obama Affordable Act, Care Act and your family member dies because they no longer can get what they need because Trump has come in and totally dismantled this entire Obamacare Act. How would that make you feel? For you women out here, us, you know, you, I ain't going to say us because I'm not a feminist. But you women out here, so what you're telling me is you're cool with somebody grabbing your pussy and disrespecting you and considering your only value in this world is being a maid at one of his uh, local hotel, well, one of his uh, high-end hotels. That was made by Chinese steel, by the way, just adding that in. <laughs> Child, it's a time in the land, for real. I just need to get on and maybe just get this off my chest because I was feeling, I'm feeling some kind of damn weight. This thing looking right and I'm just at a loss for words, y'all. I'm at a loss for damn words. This man was a laughing stock. We laughed at Donald Trump. We said how ignorant he was. Even when he went and found two coons that were stuck on a plantation somewhere, probably deep down in the south, and bought them some, you know, a few little different outfits and put some old tattered wigs in they or weaves in their head, or uh, gave a bitch a nice little 27 piece, and now they call them, they sell diamond and silk, also known as gabardine and polyester. They happy as Stephen off of Django right now. Cause master gonna look out for them. Cause they, cause they tap dance just like a good, just like a good girl does. It's 2016 and we still slaves. We slaves to the mentality that has been put inside of us from years and years of oppression. And you telling me that I'm supposed to be okay tonight about watching a man who I consider to be an utter f idiot. A disgrace to the nation. An imbecile at best. Yes, he's a good businessman, but this ain't business. This is politics. This shit finna get real. And he has no idea what he's doing. And he showed y'all that during the week-long Republican uh, uh, what was it, the Republican National, uh, whatever shit, when they had the damn, uh, not the debates, the, the party, 
when they formally announced the um presidents, my head is fully I'm so gone tonight, y'all. I can't believe what I witnessed. I can't believe I was overjoyed in 2008 to live to have seen something that many people before me probably never thought would come to fruition. I watched a black man stand in Hyde Park in Chicago, Illinois and tell each and every one of us that's in a minority field that yes, you can. If you put the work in, it's going to be trials and tribulations that are going to come along. It's going to be bumps in the road. People are going to tell you no, but I promise you if you just keep going, somebody will say yes. I watched this man revitalize a lot of us in the minority community. I watched him bring to life a desire to want to move forward in life. And in one single night one decision on one day we're about to wipe that completely away i feel so hopeless tonight but that's all i wanted to say i just needed to vent and get some shit off my chest now before i end this video i'm gonna say this again because i don't want it to be no goddamn misunderstanding i don't give a damn if you're pro-black i don't give a damn if you're conscious. I don't give a damn about none of them other type of people, okay? Do not get down in my comments and start talking out the side of your damn neck because whatever you give me, I'm going to give it back to you. Call me whatever you want to. Just call me off my damn channel, okay? Call me that as you exit in stage left. Because this is not a pro-Donald Trump video. It never will be. I'll never be pro-Donald Trump. I can't stand his ass. Oh, that's just how I'm feeling in this moment right now. If you can't understand it, then thumbs the bitch down and keep it moving. If you feel what I'm saying and you want to vent, get down in that panty section that I always keep fresh and clean for you and put your little comments down there. We can make this a vent video where we just went the fuck off because in this moment, at this day, I am feeling like I have just, oh. Where, what the hell, man? Are you kidding me? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's all I feel like saying. I'm just, I'm out done. I'm out done. I'm out damn done. I didn't get on camera because I don't feel like getting on camera. I didn't want y'all to see the look of hurt and despair that is on my face right now. I just needed to vent. I needed to get this off of me so that I'm not ugly to others because of what I'm feeling right now. So this is where I release I relate, release, relax, whatever the fuck. I could be saying that shit wrong because right now my mind is going 100 miles a minute about what is going to become of this world. I done got too damn old to be waiting on a change to come. I was, ugh, child. All right, y'all, that's it. I, I don't feel like doing this anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel irritated talking, so I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace out.